an injury in 2009. Atlanta, Maryland native recorded 13 points and 6 rebounds in the season opener against Brown. Followed that up with a season high 8 caroms at Boston College and notched 12 points on 4 of 5 shooting at UMass with 5 boards. This season, the communications major grabbed 4 rebounds in the victory against Howard. He's being accompanied today by his mother, Loretta Campbell, and his AAU coach, James Jenkins. Ladies and gentlemen, number 40, Alexander Harrington. Alex Harrington. One of the three seniors on this St. Francis College roster. Well, right now, Irma Garcia, the director of athletics. Anthony Curtin and Glenn Breika, all posing for a photograph. A gentleman that fought back from knee surgery last year. A preseason first team all NEC pick of this season, the former West Hempstead product has continued to stuff the stat sheet and once again ranks among the lead leaders in six different major categories. The high flying guard was named the NEC's player of the week on December 6th after leading the Terriers to home victories. The criminal justice major currently leads the circuit with 74 steals and ranks seventh in the country in the category. And he has dedicated the remainder of the season to his late father. And today is being accompanied by his mother, Joyce Bennett, his sister, Giovanna Bennett, and John Moore. Ladies and gentlemen, number 24, Akeem Bennett. Akeem Bennett, a rousing ovation for the senior. What can you say about this man? Continues to play at a high level, just an outstanding character person, comes from a wonderful background like all of these Terrier players. Posing for a photograph right now, and a gentleman that really does it all for this Terrier team. He scores, he rebounds, he passes, he defends. Very tough player. An active scorer with 1,602 points, and he's just 12 points today to pass Darwin Purdy as a leading scorer in St. Francis College men's basketball history. He's being accompanied today by his father, Ricky Phipps, brother, Amari Brown, and his grandmother, Gerald Phipps. Ladies and gentlemen, number 11, Ricky Cadell. Ricky Cadell coming out to the floor, and this gentleman today has a chance at history. He's just 12. Ricky Cadell and family out to take a picture. So, Alex Harrington, Akeem Bennett, and Ricky Cadell. The three seniors on this Terrier roster. Smiles across the Terrier logo out on the floor. Ricky with a nice plaque. All players receiving a plaque here. This afternoon, Let's have one turning into this round of applause. Three. This might be the best stretch of his career. Cadell drives, layup off the window, no good. Harrington right there with the putback, and he drops it in. Francis for five-time Choice Hotels, Northeast Conference Rookie of the Week Award winner. As Akeem Bennett hits the three. And the Terriers are on top, five to two. On the basketball. Cadell gets free. Three from the corner. That's good. Cadell nine points, points away. No good. As Frankie Dobbs missed fire. Here's Cadell the other way. Callaway driving. Dishes inside. Harrington throws down the jam. Alex Harrington with an impact here in the starting lineup on senior day. Four points quickly the other way. The layup off the left rim. No good. 12 from the floor. Callaway putting it on the floor. Dishes. Bennett jams it in with two hands down the right baseline. And here's Ricky Cadell. Entry pass to Travis Nichols. Quick turnaround. Right-handed floater goes in inside the left box. And the Terriers are up by 14. 24 to 10. Nichols playing well here. He has five. One. On this team in the 1936-1937 seasons. An outstanding coach. 278 career wins. Three NIT appearances. Was the school's athletic director from 1964 to 1974. Really one of the most respected men in the history of this athletic program. At this time, a special banner will be unveiled by Dan Lynch Jr., a 1970 graduate of the college, along with our former basketball alumni. Time to unveil that banner. Dan Lynch played for the college from 1934 through 1938. He was a captain from 1936 through 37 and coached the Terriers from 1948 through 
through 1969. He had 278 wins, three national invitational tournaments in 1956, 1959, and 1963. He was the athletic director here from 1964 through 1975, and it's without saying that he was one of the most respected men in the history of St. Francis College. Let's have a final round of applause for Dan Lynch and his son, Dan Lynch, Jr. So Dan Lynch, Jr., the son of Dan Lynch, 1970 alum here at St. Francis College. Bryant, quick 4-0 run to start the second half, but Bennett hits the long range, too, on the other end. 35-23 was the starting point guard last year. And talk about players who have brought it to this team concept. Here's Akeem Bennett going for the explanation point and jams it in behind the pass. Kusich now will inbound the basketball. Justin Newton brings it up. Cadell out on the floor. Two points away. The oh. men's all-time scoring lead. Here's Justin Newton. Bounce pass Perunasic, jump pass Cadell. For the all-time scoring lead, the gentleman has it. On Saturday, February 26, 2011, Ricky Cadell becomes the men's all-time scoring leader. Here at St. Francis College, top of the key, Frankie Dobbs for three, in and out no good. Now Ricky Cadell now with 1,615 points. Here's the... Bryant will dribble it out. 72-61, the final score. The Terriers are the number five seed going into the Northeast Conference Tournament, which begins next Thursday. The only so that's what we're here for, and all we're going to do is keep working hard and see what happens. Alex, great to see you. Thank you. Great to see you, too. We'll see you Thursday night. Thank you. Thank you for a few minutes. Alex Harrington here on the Terrier Sports Network. 72-61, final score. As the Terriers, absolutely, my pleasure. As the Terriers win the basketball game, 72-61 here today. So, will it be Central Connecticut State? Will it be Robert Morris? We'll see. We'll know. Probably at about 9.30, 10 o'clock tonight. Terriers are the five seed in the upcoming tournament. We do know that. Thank yous to pass along. Brendan Dugan, the president here at St. Francis College. We'd also like to thank Irma Garcia, the director of athletics, for her support throughout the season. Dave Gansell, the director of sports information. We'd also like to thank Brian Morales, the assistant sports information director. Jim Hoffman, our statistician. Liliana Rodriguez helping him. And we would also like to thank Anthony Curtin, Carl Quigley, and Megan O'Brien in the athletic office. Terriers going to the postseason. We'll talk to you next Thursday night from Robert Morris or Central Connecticut State. St. Francis wins 72-61. Seth Cantor saying good evening, and we'll talk to you in a few days right here on the Terriers Sports Network.